Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Crawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at our forward reverse uncoupling and our smart stop feature that we can find in our hex shift machines with a CIS Plus cab. So you now join me back up in the cab of our CIS Plus machine, again looking at some of the transmission features that we have available to us. So what can we see in terms of the adjustments that we can make for our smart stop and our forward reverse uncoupling? Well firstly, if we dive into our menus to make sure that these features are turned on. So coming into this we see our transmission menu annotated here on the left of the screen with the cog. We come into that. Firstly, for our um, smart stop feature, we want to come into our auto menu that we can see here in the center of the screen. So by coming in there, we see firstly the option that we see in the previous video to change our hex active feature. The second one is going to be our smart stop and we can see at the moment that that is turned off. Once I turn this on, we can see that we now get a smart stop symbol at the top of the screen. So smart stop is that break to clutch feature. So if we think about maybe a round baler and wrapper, once we have wrapped the bale and we want to eject it without maybe tearing the plastic, for example, rather than clutching and breaking, what we can now do is simply apply the brake. This will engage the clutch force. We can eject our bale, let our foot back off of the brake. It will then engage drive force again, all without stalling the machine as well obviously so quite a nice little feature for some specific applications like that as well. In terms of our forward reverse uncoupling we have a dedicated menu here annotated by the cogs with F and R slash in them so by coming in here again this is just an on or off value so at the minute you can see that we now have this turned on and what you can see then from our screen over to the right hand side the machine essentially remembers the gear the last time you were in that direction. So if we think about maybe front load of work on a, small, uh, on a smaller tractor for maybe general yard duties, we're maybe coming into our heap of manure maybe at a slower gear of maybe B, B3 for example. We want to then change into reverse with our forward reverse uncoupling turned on and we increase our gear to maybe gear B6. Each subsequent time we change from forward to reverse, it will remember those two gears and automatically shift in between them as we change from forward to reverse. So, thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.